morning today we will be covering the topic introduction to kernel the topics which we will be covering is kernel architecture diagram file subsystem and process subsystem this is basic architecture diagram of unix architecture the inner most core has the hardware on top of the hardware we are having the kernel and the topmost layer is having the application program if application program want to give command to the hardware the intermediate interface is the kernel so we need to use the kernel shell programming if we want to give commands to the kernel as shown in the diagram there are various building blocks for the kernel architecture of unix the user program can communicate to the kernel level subsystem or the building blocks using system call interface the major building blocks are file subsystem process control subsystem the hardware control process control subsystem further contains the blocks as intercommunication scheduler and the memory management unit and the lower mills level contains the actual hardware let us look at the file subsystem control block the function of file system is nothing but maintaining the collection of files and directories on a disk or a tape in standard unix file system format kernel's file subsystem regulates data flow between the kernel and the secondary storage device Another major building block of kernel is the process control subsystem. The functions of process control subsystem is managing the various processes on the system, process synchronization, the communication of the processes as inter-process communication, managing the memory requirement of the process as memory management, and scheduling the processes. That is allocating the CPU to the Another major building block of kernel is hardware control. Hardware control is responsible for handling interrupts and for communicating with the machine. Devices such as disk or terminal may interrupt the CPU while the process is in executing state. The kernel may resume execution of the interrupted process after servicing the interrupt. In the next session, we will be looking at the functions and the data structures which are used by file subsystem and the process management data structures used by kernel in the